All right, we're here in Nomergon. This is a pug I joined out of looking for roof chat. Pretty chill. We're going to have a good time. And very exciting news. Blizzard just announced that phase three of Season of Discovery is going to be going live April 4th. That's in a little over a week. Uh, so uh, going to probably have to like scramble to get some stuff ready for phase three. I'm super excited. I'm super ready to be done with Nomergon. And I really hope, <laughs> I really hope they don't have a boss in Nomergon that has a static arc ability like Electrocutioner 6000. Holy hell, I am tired of people failing mechanics in Nomergon, <laughs> basically. I, I hope Sunken Temple is a, you know, less mechanically complex raid than Nomergon. Can't wait to be bored of Phase 3 after two weeks. Yeah, yeah basically. Uh, anyways, uh, right, we're on this character here. We've got pretty good gear. Uh, we're going to be doing a DPS rogue. We got our three set. We got Blood Harvest, Sacrificial Chris of the Tiger. Um, right, Defkin Belt. So we're actually hoping for the belt off the first boss. And then, like, the biggest upgrade we can get is the 18 attack power trinket off of the last boss. Uh, that would be really cool. And we're going with Assassination, 26 points, Combat 0, Subtlety 5, just like that. That's the plan. Fuji says, I made a comment on Discord that surely rogues get buffed for phase three. <laughs> Blizz dev clown emoji react, according to Kucha. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't worry, guys. I ordered some third party hardware called a GB operator. It will allow me to play. It, it's basically a Game Boy cartridge slot that pipes out of audio and video feed to my computer. So as soon as we find out that rogues are bad in phase three, we can just become a retro Pokemon streamer. Okay, we can play Pokemon red, blue, gold, silver, crystal. Uh, it'll be great. Uh, I could get Link's Awakening also. I'm just not ready to have a whole nother phase of my class being obviously bad and undesirable to include in groups. O seven 7 to viewership, yeah. That'll be, that, that'll probably happen. Anyways, if anyone wants to catch these streams live, they are on twitch.tv slash Simon I Show. I'm talking to you, YouTube audience. We stream uh, Monday through Friday, about 1 p.m. EST to about... Ooh, I have threat on the boss. Cool, what is... Am I... I'm not supposed to be tanking. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, yeah, Monday through Friday, about 1 p.m. EST to uh, usually about 6 or 7 EST. Mm-hmm. Okay, someone's dead. If I would have put up a stream prediction for will anyone die on Grubbis, how many of you would have lost lost channel points right there? Fuck am I taking damage from? Fucking dead, okay. Cavern Deep Sabatons, Volatile whatever belt okay we don't need any of that somehow two people died <laughs> how many number gun runs do you think we're gonna get done today Better question, how long do you think this Nomergon run is going to take? <laughs> 
Two warriors, two rogues, and an actual ranged hunter. Seems to be that way, yes. Wait, he did one flanking strike and uh, one melee. Is there something better he could use if he's going to be ranged? Flanking strike is a leg rune. I don't know what other leg rune options there are. Okay. Uh, let me get a prediction going for next boss. How many people will die on this uh let's phrase it uh next boss uh zero one to two three or more okay that's the prediction i'll put 10 minutes on the clock because i don't know how long it's going to take to get to a viscous fallout Alright, the, the Warlock tank uh, did not use a free action potion. Uh, and we don't have a magic dispel in this group, so the, the tank got stunned and then couldn't pick up the mobs properly. Which caused some problems. Which is understandable. No priest, no druid. We have shamans for disease cleansing totem. Maybe they'll use it. No fortitude or mark. Yeah, who cares about mark? It's like a 3 DPS improvement or something. Greed roll that. Should actually be greed rolling the items that drop. I think I passed on all the boss loot. I'm popping a nature protection potion now so that I can have one available during the boss to press again. Put that on my action bar. Oh yeah, I forgot to eat my elixir of coalesced regret plus one to all stats. Monk Staff of Healing. Okay. Oh, you know what? I have something insane planned for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I am trying to organize a eight rogue Nomergon clear. Uh, and I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm working with uh, No Hit Jerome. He's going to play Priest. And I think the other non-rogue class we probably want it to be Druid. So it'll be Priest, Druid, and eight rogues. And I think it'll be brilliant. What could go wrong? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we need more rogues. We talk, I talked to a couple people. Bobka is going to come uh, trying to invite some folks. Not sure how many open spots we have at this point because I'm like coordinating it with Jerome and I'm not sure how many people he invited. Ooh, uh, yeah, this is actually a big problem. They pointed this out in, uh, raid chat, um, with no magic dispel. Everyone's gonna have to use free action potion on the final boss. Just a quick guess. How many people in this raid do you guys think don't have any free action potions in their inventory? 
four to five, eight, more than 10. No, that's impossible because you can see I'm in the raid and I do have free action potions. Okay. Oh, we got a banger group for the first one of the day. This is gonna be good. Okay, so I think the best thing I can do to increase the group's chance of success here is to vanish cheap shot, stun one of the goos that spawns, cheap shot into a follow up kidney shot, burn literally all the cooldowns I have, thistle tea, whatever, in order to kill the adds as fast as possible. Is there any better trinket I could be using? Uh, not that I have right now. I think they're going to pull the boss. Ooh, no, okay, they managed to avoid it. I'm not hitting these because I don't want to refresh the corrosive ooze debuff. This guy got it refreshed though. With no magic dispels, that one's, uh, uh, uh yikes. Moralex, hello, how's it going? Uh, what's the status on the prediction? Ooh, how many people will die on next boss? That's Viscous Fall. That's th th this one. We got zero, one to two, or three or more as the outcome options. You guys think 59% 59 of you think no one is going to die. P.S. If they die to a damage over time effect after the boss dies, that counts as dying to the boss. Okay. We've done these predictions before. You get damage over time things. It's common to die after the boss is dead to the boss's ability. And that does count as dying to the boss. Okay, now even more of you want to gamble on zero deaths. That That's insane to me. Are we ready? Ready. I'm going to have to close this prediction here. Closing in five, four, three, two, one. Locked in. 75% of you think no one's gonna die. That would not be my bet. I'm going to go as hard as I fucking can to kill these ads. If nature protection is still going and uh, the cooldown is available. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's going on? What are we... What are we doing here? Boss is immune to distract, by the way. They could have made rogues even, like, remotely useful by letting us distract the patrolling bosses. Ah, uh, I think the warlock's supposed to be the main tank. Okay, we're going. We're in. Okay, the Warlock now has threat. The Hunter needed to pre-pot. What the? No! Activate my helmet. Oh, the stun is on cooldown. This one's this one's up also. Now I'm in the goddamn slime. Okay, okay, we did it. 
I have some cooldowns left over for the second wave of ads. We're in the poison sludge. And the boss is not moving. Where's the second round? Is he not doing it? Okay, whatever. Okay, I did not expect that outcome. I did not expect that outcome. Choose outcome, zero deaths. Uh, okay, greed roll that, greed roll that, greed roll the drape, and greed roll that. And we all just go up here. Group is just too strong, that's right. Uh, yeah, let me throw the prediction up again for next boss, Crowd Pummeler. This is a boss who, that bought the Crowd Pummeler... It's hard to get out of this boss alive. With everyone alive, I mean. This, this tactic of getting through this hallway is not one I was going to expect this group would just do. Uh-oh. Someone mad that the rogue got the drape of... You didn't loot cape? What? No, it says receives loot. Yeah, I think he did. I thought someone was going to be like, that's not rogue bis. Why are you rolling on it? It's like... A fraction of a DPS different than the, the agility one. But actually, actually, this group of people, they're not being toxic. Okay. This is an odd mix. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite cereal? Oh, Rice Krispies, easily. Worst cereal take NA? <laughs> wait, wait, what about Raisin Bran Crunch? Dude, it's got raisins in it. I love raisins. Dude, I'm not gonna eat candy. Look, look. You're gonna try to tell me, like, Lucky Charms with, like, sugar... I mean, it's basically candy with alongside some grain cereal. Uh-uh, bro. I would like to know what they're going to do for the raid launch schedule this phase, if they're going to have it be available from the absolute get-go or what. Yeah, I think we're going... We want to go the other way. And not go this way. The, the ship is already... God damn it. <laughs> there's, there's no turning this ship around. We're going this way. Oh, Honey Nut Cheerios? I'd fuck with that, actually. Honey Nut Cheerios, alright.
All right, there's still a little bit of time to get your points in on the prediction for this boss. How many people will die? Zero, one to two, or three or more. That's the prediction. But you are running out of time to get your channel points in. I thought it would be less than five minutes to get to the boss. I was wrong. New skateboard, Santa Cruz, Stranger Th Things. Oh, cool. Got the D&D &D dice, very nice. Yeah, apparently five minutes was not enough time to progress from Viscous Fallout to Crowd Pummeler. Oh well, it's fine. Submissions are closed now, I think. Set it for five minutes. You guys, you gotta, you gotta get on this. Soggy Serial actually played this way better than me. He shadow stepped to get way more uptime on the targets. You saw he like blinked over to the target. I was still running. Giga Pumper strat to wait for cooldowns. Actually take 10 minutes between the bosses. True. Like, we'll probably have Nero linked Cowl for this. You shadow step back to Pummeler after punch? I'm not sure. I think so. If you're too high up in the air, you probably can't. Because you need, um... Shadow Step isn't a true teleport. It's more like a warrior's charge ability where it needs to have a grounded route from your location to the target to allow you to do it. Are we ready? I'm not going to intentionally get blasted, okay? Uh-oh. I have some threat. Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, one down. Two down. Can we go for... Oh, there's three. Are we wiping? Save my evasion for when it's obviously going to be needed. Four down. God damn it. What if the run ends right here? <laughs> what if this is it? Evasion up. Do I have a healing potion? No. Yeah. Yeah, this is a wipe. Save the- oh, Vanish was already spent to drop my threat. It's over. <laughs> One DMF buff down. <laughs> All right. I don't think I've ever wiped on this boss before. Did I wipe on the day one clear? It was day two, technically. First reset. All right, three or more people died. <laughs> Soggy Serial says, I don't think that's how the fight is supposed to go. Ah, uh, true. All right, rebooting this prediction. Uh, two minutes on the clock this time. Get your points in. F 
half to consumables plus world buffs. Yep. <laughs> Having a tough time here. Who would have thought off-meta everything has issues? I mean, there's a lot of... <laughs> there's a lot of issues other than just what classes we're playing. <laughs> what the? Did we not activate this teleporter? Why is it... Why is there a gate... What the fuck? Alright, well, let's just sprint. See if we can make it there. I think we didn't activate the teleporter. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, I don't think really the raid composition was really the issue. Notorious B-I-G-G -G says, Yo, Simon, enjoyed the new video about difficulty and so forth. Glad to hear it. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Did you miss a wipe? Yes, we wiped on Crowd Pummeler. Uh, it's almost... I'm not sure if this is literally what happened, but it really felt like every time he did Nomergon Smash, someone died. <laughs> Oh, shit. I... Oh, I actually fucked that up. I jumped while I was still in combat. Okay, this is now activated. No more for XP into Zulfurat grind until 50. The play? Who knows? Not me. You can make whatever plays you want to make. Agility. Ogre Strength. Fortitude. Alright, we're good. Mm, we need a fresh Shadow Oil. Ready. Threat's a little high. Who is trying to tank this? Pretty sure the pet has taunt enabled. Oh, there's the mage is dead again. I wonder if that shaman is trying to tank. I don't think so. I think they're just like doing double rock biter as DPS and pulling threat.
which I'd say is pretty normal. Like, Shaman Threat Generation is pretty out of control when you do double Rock Biter. I think we're gonna get it this time. God damn it, I didn't have Vanish because I burned Vanish earlier. Now I'm in the claw and I can't get out. Uh, we did it with only one death. Let me double check no one like battle rezzed after dying. Yeah, one death 23 seconds into the fight. Uh, choose outcome. One to two people dying. Okay. Greed roll that. Greed roll that. Greed roll that. Uh, greed roll that. And greed roll that. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break while they make their way towards the next boss. The next boss is Electrocutioner. I believe we can do it. But it might come with significant challenges. Uh, okay, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, looks like the raid chat has gotten toxic while I was gone. Let's scroll up and review. Alright, be right back. Tank, you got consumes says no can give me some we have caster consumes not physical consumes jesus yikes this is the guy that died to crowd pummeler and he's saying yikes to someone else if i died to crowd pummeler two times in a row i would not be talking shit <laughs> Uh, going to a raid without consumes as a tank, dot, 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 question mark. Wow, okay. This ride is about to get a lot rougher. Again, the guy who died twice in a row to Crowd Pummeler. Hang on, let me put this so you can read it better. Uh, this can only end in tears. I can maintain the rest, but I have trouble with last boss. This shit is fucked. So I finally found a Reddit thread raid. Well, we're locked, so let's try to find a solution instead of complain. Okay, I like that guy's attitude. Knew I'd eventually stumble upon one. And then post later on Reddit. Solution is wait for reset tomorrow. I real- okay. 
in interest of being positive and completing the raid, I'm not gonna say anything, but like this guy talking shit is really funny. <laughs> He died 23 seconds in on the first crowd pummeler attempt, and he died 35 seconds in on the sec- uh, or sorry, this was the first. The second was he died 23 seconds in. Uh, okay, we're all caught up on the raid chat drama now. Put that back over there. You guys can, uh, keep reading it and stay updated. You're going to off tank zoo fight? I want to watch it as I'm going to do it soon. Ah, uh, I might. If we are struggling with tanks, I can swap to tank runes also. Uh, offer, offer what I can to help the group. This is the welcoming, no gatekeeping raid that Reddit always says we need more of. <laughs> the, the funniest thing I see is like, ever since Zaryu did his stream raid where he like intentionally brought people with like 10 parse average and he like did well in the raid, everyone's like, you don't need to gatekeep. Remember Zaryu did it that one time without any wipes? <laughs> it's like, yeah, maybe that wasn't representative of <laughs> the average raid. Truly something else. It may be bad. It may be good, but who cares? Wild players are kind of crazy. I can't, I can't contain it anymore. Bro, I would not talk shit. You dot. Let me double check what he died to on both the crowd pummelers. Nomergon smash. Nomergon smash. Bro, Junie, I would not talk shit if I died twice in a row to Nomergon smash on crowd pummeler. Just saying. I can't contain it anymore. Let's stay positive. <laughs> Moran Unleashed says, Hello, Simon. I just watched your YouTube video and I'm here to say that WoW is too easy, actually, and they should gatekeep harder. Speaking from my massive experience of playing TBC Classic for one patch after which my guild disbanded. You're right, probably. You're right, Moran Unleashed. <laughs> All right, this guy's saying, first time I killed myself because Tank died. Um, determined that that is not true. You did actually die to Nomergon Smash twice. 
<laughs> it's like usually I don't want to get involved in the the pissing match in a in a pug raid of who did what, but it's like if this guy is going to die to the boss mechanic twice in a row and then this is going to pull the boss. Wow, that was close. <laughs> And then he's going to go and talk shit on other people after doing that. It's like, okay, I, I can't resist at that point. Uh, let's see. Prediction... Start a prediction for Electrocutioner. How many people will die on next boss? Okay, five minutes on the clock. Oh, maybe he was saying he intention. No, why would... No, that doesn't make sense. I was thinking maybe he's saying, like, he intentionally got hit by the Nomergon smash, but he died 35 seconds into the fight. There's no way he should be intentionally dying that early. Okay, boss is pulled. Have to close the submissions on the prediction. Gonna call that one a three plus wipe. I would say. Pull, I have the lightning thing, so let me pull this out of the way. Oop, we're down to four people. Let's see if I can finish off this trash mob. Actually score some progress here. Ooh, we got blasted. Okay. And, oh, we had a person. Oh, wait, the guy who died twice to Crowd Pummeler has now left the raid. <laughs> this raid group is not good enough for him, apparently. Ah, uh, that's a three plus people dying. Who pulled it? I I don't know who uh, was in in range. Uh, apparently that mage was our healer though. Hmm hmm hmm. Uh, let's review. Healing done. Wouldn't have healed much on Crowd Pummeler either way. Yeah, okay. It was one of our two healers. Lava Bursty and Junichiro. Did a good amount of healing on Viscous. And a good amount of healing on Grubbus also. Yeah, I think this one's going to be over. <laughs> Thanks anyways. Good luck on next. Okay. Yep, that raid's over. Well, that's one way to get rid of our first Nomergon lockout quickly. Uh, that's by far the worst Nomergon I'd ever done. We didn't... We killed three bosses and managed to wipe on one of them. <laughs>
this one is a hundred percent going on YouTube. The, the, those, I don't feel like I was overly toxic at any point in this run that I would want to like not immortalize the run on YouTube. Okay. I think this was just a this was just a good one. Uh, let's leave uh, leave party and we'll get pushed to um, pushed to uh, Booty Bay and we can go next character. All right, look, when you're trying to go into Nomergon to get to the safe zone and say you like aggro some trogs up here, if you run through, there's a this is where the safe spot is. You go onto here and then you jump onto here and then the mobs will evade and not attack you and reset and then you can uh, stealth. Is pre bis list ready, Flurger man? You can't make a pre bis list when you don't know what abilities your character is going to have. We can't actually make, I mean, you can make guesses, but you know, it, based on what you do know, but like, we don't know what abilities or changes are gonna happen in phase three. It's just like in phase two, no one saw the change to mutilate coming. Everyone like assumed, okay, we're probably still gonna be saber slashing. And then Blizzard dropped, oh, 40 energy mutilate. And then everyone was daggers and we completely changed like the talent build and everything. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hold off on making gear and talent recommendations until we actually know something about what's happening 